Mr. King. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I mm -hmm. appreciate uh, being recognized. I want to keep it really brief, but I saw something that was here very, very ironic that I wanted to make sure I could express to the committee. And that's Mr. Cucno's uh, testimony that shows the tax bill you missed for that quarter was $44,000, but after the interest and the penalties and fines, it's now 88000 it happens to be an ironic coincidence that a baby born in America today's share of the national debt is 44000 and by the time they start fifth grade, it will be 88000 I hope that makes you feel better. You're like a newborn, so start again. Thank you, Madam Chair, and I yield back. Thank you. Uh, any other member that wishes to make a, any other question? If not... Yes, Mr. Yes, Hall. I'm sorry. Um, the question was asked by to the previous panel, um, and Mr. Schock had led to uh, legislation that would have an impact on small business. And one of the ones that would significantly have an impact on our company that could benefit our company is a non-renewal of the blanket unemployment uh, funding in six weeks or when it comes up again. And Northwest Iowa is very difficult to find employees. And so we were actually, I would have to admit, kind of excited about the recession. And that would mean that we'd have more employees to draw from. Uh, we've gone to a number of different job fairs where the people will walk through and we're interested and they will not take an application because their unemployment hasn't run out. We had a tenant um, that uh, I offered, actually helped him find a job and he said, I have $16,000 worth of unemployment coming to me. I don't need to go and apply for this job. Uh, so um, the unemployment... Um, I think you can, um, by not renewing it with a blanket renewal would be beneficial to small business owners. I think everyone that sat on the panel had, uh, stated that, that uh, unemployment is hurting the unemployment rate in America. And by if we can hold off for a month before renewing it, some other plan besides just a blanket renewal is going to be hindering, um, is hindering our companies. And we need employees. Time I need employees. Um, Thank you. Mr. Mr. Kaufman. The chair will recognize you at this point. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I apologize for not being here earlier. I came from another committee that was talking to you about the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Um, I'm just wondering if you could just uh, maybe individually just tell me um, what you see going forward, just in a nutshell. Uh, are, you, are you optimistic or pessimistic uh, about the next six months? I'm optimistic. I'm absolutely optimistic. Um, I was able to hear a comment last night from um, a recitation of Sam Walton's comment that uh, he refuses to participate in a recession, and we feel the same way. We're not going to participate in a recession. One thing that has been good is it's forced us to get our processes down pat. It's forced us to run smooth and to run lean. And I think that's going to benefit us coming out of this thing where when things were growing so fat, fast, we just got lazy on a lot of things where we could have trimmed budgets or whatnot. And this, this has made us become sharp again. I, I'm, I'm always optimistic. So um, you know, everything that we do, we try to do is to help our community and help the businesses in it because they're our, they're our customers. And so I, if, if it's not working, then we look for something else to do. I'm very optimistic, and in the state of Florida, where I where I live, um, the state is doing. They have a lot of programs to try to help small business, uh, either exporting or improve their their importing or their services and all. And I'm uh, taking part in a few of those opportunities, so I'm very optimistic. I'm optimistic as well, um, with a little more certainty around health care reform. Um, it's evident that hospitals are starting to spend more money, which is a big help to our business. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. Thank you, and let me thank all the witnesses uh, for your participation here today. Uh, we are really very, very grateful, and uh, we wish you, wish you all the best. Thank we you. need you more than ever. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very thank much. You. you know, our, our newspaper's doing the same thing and mm -hmm. going through the same stuff, and I just tell them, you know, go local, because the, the Internet can't do that. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's... I didn't want to.